I'm Eva from Microtech. Are you working with gigabit and 10 gigabit networks? Do I have news for you then? What if I told you that you can forget about CPU limitations? Just like that, gone, like magic. Well, this type of magic now has a name, CCR2116. We wanted to see the full potential of the good old reliable 10G networking combined with the unparalleled power of a modern ARM CPU. The results blew our minds. Let's dive right in. Like its younger brother, CCR2004, this router features the mighty Amazon Annapurna Labs Alpine CPU. But with 16 cores running at 2 GHz, this processor eats the other one for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The power level is insane here. I hate to interrupt but there's something very important to address here, BGP performance. If we take a step back and look at the router OS version 6 and CCR1036, remember, they used to be top of the line. A hefty BGP table could take three minutes to load, but who has time for that? Life is too short to wait for BGP processing. With the new ARM CPUs, like in this product, and new routing engine in router OS version 7, we have managed to cut this time down to 30 seconds. Sorry guys, no more BGP coffee breaks. Now, back to you, Eva. And don't you worry about the memory. 16 gigabytes of DDR4 should be enough, even for the heaviest loads. Now, let's talk about single core performance. That's the most important aspect when it comes to heavy operations based on per connection processing. Like queues, for example. So, the younger brother of this device had the best single core performance in the CCR family, remember? Well, the 2116 model offers a 15% increase in single core performance. That's right, we have a new champion. Obviously, you need the right connectivity to harness this power. There are four 10G SFP Plus ports. They have a separate full duplex line connected to the Marvel Amethyst family switch chip. Then we have gigabit ethernet ports. 12 of them are running through the Marvel chip. Each group of four ports has a separate full duplex connection to the switch chip. No bottlenecks here. You can expect switch-like throughput in most setups. And there is another gigabit port connected directly to the CPU for management purposes. Speaking of the CPU, the new generation of processors is so good. If we look at the CCR1036, the powerhouse with a 36 core CPU, the new CCR2116 can easily double the performance. 16 cores versus 36 cores, double the performance. <laughs> what? Last but not least, there is also an M2 PCIe slot. It supports SSDs up to eight terabytes. This could be extremely useful for all kinds of container apps, but we are very excited to see what kinds of interesting use cases you will come up with. Let us know in the comments. So here is my verdict. If you are a large ISP dealing with dynamic routing, massive BGPs, complex firewall rules, and intricate quality of service configurations, this is the right device for you. Without a doubt, this is the one I would choose. And yes, like with any ISP level device, we've included a dual redundant power supply. So you have one less thing to worry about. In my time here at Microtik, I have seen many amazing devices, but this one might be my personal favorite so far. The combination of raw power and utility with the reliable 10G networking, technology tested by time, built for the future, that's our CCR2116. Contact your Microtik distributor today and forget about CPU limitations.